If you're like most people, then you're probably thinking, I only have a few days left and then I gotta go back to work. And you have this feeling in the pit of your stomach and you're sad and you're depressed and you're thinking, oh, I don't wanna go back to work. That's terrible. Like you, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That is wrong. You shouldn't be thinking that. You shouldn't be feeling that. You should be excited to get back to work. You should be excited to get back at your life, your real life. Because while time off can be a ton of fun, it's not real life. And if you are not feeling right now, chomping at the bit to get back to your hustle, to get back to your grind, to get back to building up what you could be, then, I mean, that's gotta tell you something, right? And over the last year, one thing I have learned that I am holding on to as I go into 2020 is the fact that in life, in play, in relationships, in work, the way you feel about something, the way you feel about it is more important than anything else. So if you are not excited to get back at it, if you are not excited about everything that 2020 in a brand new time, in a brand new decade is bringing to you all of the opportunities, all of the challenges, everything that you can do to grow into the person that God meant for you to be, then you need to fix this today, right now. And I'm not here to make you feel bad that you don't feel a certain way, the way that everyone else feels, you know, it comes easier to them. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to just point out that being excited about everything that is to come is amazing and you can make yourself excited about these things. If you're sad to leave a place and go home because there's nothing to go home to, then you need to give yourself a reason to go home. If you're dreading the fact that you've gotta go back into the office because there's nothing challenging there for you, then you can fix that by making your office, your career, the things that you do more challenging. If you're not happy with the way that you look or the way that you feel, you can fix that by taking little steps. Drink more water, go on longer walks, stand up more, do a few push-ups or sit-ups right here, start with one or two, you can fix that. So no matter where you are, no matter who you're surrounded by, no matter your circumstances, you are in control. You can choose to make the change. You can get excited about everything this change will bring for you. And through consistency and doing it day after day after day, one day you will wake up and look back and go, I can't believe I've done this. I can't believe I was able to accomplish it. I can't believe that just in these short two or three months, Everything that I hated is now gone. And the things that I hoped and dreamed and wish I would be able to have, some of these things I have. How did it happen in these few short months? How did it happen in these few short years? How did I go from being lonely to suddenly being in a relationship and having these things I wanted? How did I go from being broken on the verge of bankruptcy to suddenly having some clients and some revenue and some money and things have turned around? How did I go from hating waking up in the morning and going to a job or to school or running a business that I didn't like to suddenly me seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and going, you know what? It's not all that bad. It happens by deciding to make the change getting excited about the fact that you are proving to yourself what you're worth and then doing it day after day after day. That's why I'm excited about 2020, because for me, it's another chance for me to prove to myself what I'm capable of. This year, I have the opportunity to think bigger than I've ever thought before. I'm gonna be faced with hardship and challenges and setbacks, and I'm gonna be able to prove that I'm actually a bold person. And things are gonna be thrown at me, and, and I'm gonna get scared, and I'm gonna be fearful, and I'm gonna wanna say no, but I'm gonna say yes. This year, 2020, and every year after that is nothing but opportunity for me to choose to be the person that I wanna be, to get excited about everything that's out there that I can go and attack, and then for me to just do it day after day, month after month, and year after year. That's how you turn into the person that you're meant to be. And while most people are wrapping up their vacations right now, if you wanna know why your vacation self is your true self, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there.